Good morning, world. Ah, oh, starting today, waking up at a whopping 8 a.m. after five hours sleep, and waking up to some smooth ass jazz. Ugh. Do not really approve of being awake at this time, but for some reason I just cannot get back to sleep. So uh, we're getting up, we're going to the shop, we're getting some milk. Then when we get back, we're playing Minecraft because for some reason I have the oddest craving in the world to build my first ever house I grew up in. I don't know why, I don't know what's inspired it, but we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna live stream for a bit, create it, and I'll show your faces the end result. And if my dad watches this, he can judge me on a scale of one to 10 as to whether or not I did a good job or a bad job. All right, you beautiful day. Let's rock and roll. <sighs> now, before we go any further, guys, I feel like it's the best thing to do just to address this now before uh, Everyone starts going like speculations in the comments and stuff like that. But uh, you may have noticed in the past few days, just a slight disappearance of Lydia. Um, and I'm not going to beat around the bush or anything like that. And it's simply because me and Lydia have indeed broken up. Uh, it sucks. It really, really does. But me and Lydia have been dating nearly for like two and a, two, no, two and a bit years. Um, and as you guys know, we did indeed break up after about a year. Um, it was a mutual decision of not having enough time for each other and this and that. And, you know, obviously from my side, there's all, like other things that go into that, which is not necessary for me to like tell you guys about or I never would. Um, but unfortunately, it just never worked out with us. And uh, we, we, we separated, but we found ourselves getting back together again. Now, me and Lydia got back together. And over the course of the year of being together again, over the, the, the second period of the year, um, things have been amazing. Things have been annoying things have been like stressful and all that sort of stuff and as everything as a whole it just came together to realize that as much as i love lydia to pieces and as much as i've enjoyed every memory we've ever spent together um unfortunately the bad times just outweigh the good and there's nothing stupid like someone's cheating on each other or something stupid like that it's just the little things you might be someone who doesn't like someone leaving a spoon on the side uh, you know, when it nags you, nags you, nags you to the point where that outweighs the good, which just for the record, Lydia was not going around leaving spoons on the side. It was nothing, uh, nothing like that. But it just got to a point where I wanted to just be able to have fun and enjoy the good times without there being the bad times to bring it down. And as sad and harsh and as selfish that as that is, um, th this is my life and I... I'm the one who lives it. I love sharing it with Lydia. I have done and had so many good, fun memories with her, like some of the best and funniest moments of my life. Of my life. But unfortunately, um, I just don't want to be in a scenario where the, the good is ruined by the bad. So unfortunately, I broke it off with Lydia and hope we can still stay friends because I genuinely do think we can. We went to the wedding as friends and it was absolutely amazing. She's such a great person. She's so smart. She's stupidly intelligent, which at times can be annoying and don't get me wrong, that's not one of the reasons, but you know, she's a teacher. She's absolutely amazing. She's just so creative. She's like lovely. She's got such passion and ambition for things. And when she puts her mind to it, she can just like, like she can get done. And that's something that I really, really loved about her. Um, and I still do love it. I really do. It like it broke my heart to call it off, um, and I've got no intention now. Just say it straightforward. I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship with like anyone or like anything along that lines. I'm not looking for someone or anything. I've always found myself over the past four years jumping in and out of relationships within like maybe a couple of months like time, and I'll probably be not saying this. <laughs> you know, give it in a, in a week or something like that. And I'd be like, where the women at? Which is not what I want to do. I've got no interest. I'm not in, not intending on trying to speak to someone or reach out or anything like that. Because as selfish as this sounds, I've always been in these relationships over the past like eight, eight years of my life. I've always been in like two year relationships, like in, out, in, out, in, out, like just like that. And there's so many moments where I just, I want to be able to get up and go and do something without upsetting or affecting uh, like my partner at the time. So I've chose to make the decision um, to be a single man in the world. And the reason for that is I want to be able to do what I want when I want. And I want to be able to enjoy the happiest moments and have them stay the happiest moments with like no repercussions or anything in the slightest. 
So I know it's a bit of a, a downer to throw on you as I've only just got out of bed like a pow. Uh, there you go. But I just know it's better to talk to you guys about this uh, immediately uh, rather than people like jumping to conclusions like, wait a minute, where was she? Not seen her in a day. Is she gone on holiday? Is she okay? Lydia is absolutely amazing and I wish her all the best in life. And there's something that, you know, not to speak on like out of place here, but something Lydia has always wanted to do is uh, pursue being an air hostess. And she wants to travel the world and, you know, see these amazing sites and just can't non-stop travel and meet new people all the time. And that is like the perfect job for Lydia. Uh, as you guys know, she's like a, she's a part-time teacher at the moment, but she wants to be an air hostess. And like something she always said to me is, she, she, I was like, go and be an air hostess, go do it, go travel the world and have so much fun. Like it'd be the best thing you'll ever do. And she said to me that she'd never be an air hostess while she's in a relationship because that's a job she'd want to do when she's single. So in all fairness, I respect that and I understand it. So if there's anything in the right way to see it, it's let her go, let her have fun, let her travel the world, and let her, uh, let her just be herself, have fun, and not hold back for, for me. So on that bombshell and that emotional tie, I love her, I always have done, and I truly wish and hope she has the best life she can ever have because she's an amazing, amazing girl and a, and a woman, and I, I just, I love her. But sometimes, guys, things don't work out. So I appreciate it. And I hope you understand it. And please respect it. I don't need the comments of people being like, don't do it. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. It's my decision. I've made it. It's been something that's been nagging me for a while. And unfortunately, it's just the way things pan out, guys. So I will always remember the good times. And I will never look back in anger in the slightest. And yes, I stole that from a song. I don't even know which one it is. Is it called Don't Look Back in Anger? I think it probably is. But we're going to get on and start this day, guys. You know me, regardless of what goes on in life, it just keeps going and you've just got to make the most of it. So that is what we're going to do. Love you. Right, so where were we? We need, uh, yeah, we, we need a milk. You can tell this is now a single man's fridge. Quite a depressing scene because there's absolutely nothing in it except Parma ham and, oh, some eggs. I can't make an omelette, but uh, let's go get some milk. And with my uh, umpteen million uh, vehicles in this house, that being uh, two vehicles, two motorbikes, and four pedal bikes, um, none of them are usable. Uh, it's not a joke. Batteries are done on the bikes, flat, flat tire on that one. These are all locked up and I don't know where the key is. <laughs> That's great. And then you might be like, oh, the electric scooter. Let's take that bad boy. Yeah, battery's dead on that thing as well. So we're using our good old thing called... Legs. Hold up, syndicateoriginal.com shirt change here. Reason why, I was like, why does this shirt feel like I'm wearing like bloody latex or something like that? It's because it's a small. Man's not been a small since I was like 15 years old. The chunks gain as you get older, team. So, word of the wise, I'm a medium. That is what you call a more comfortable fit. Now, where are my headphones? Because we are going on a stroll and I want to listen to some music. I've lost them. Grazie. All right, hang on a minute. Is he in? No, he's not. Eight o'clock in the morning and good old boy shop is closed. Psh, the disrespect. Just got stopped then speaking to a, a neighbour of mine. Whilst I was away on holiday, the day before I left, a house got broke into probably ten doors down from me. They broke into it and they stole both the cars. They then came back a few days later after stealing the cars and then like went to try and rob the guns out of the gun safe. Because I think they're like farmers. So... Yeah, I, you know, I hear people talk about, you know, like Chicago and they call it Chirac because there's so many shootings there and stuff like that. Well, mate, I'm from G-Cross and we might start calling this Chirac or something like that because it's just ridiculous. Every five minutes there's a robbery, some cars getting stolen, some getting broken into. Like when I was a kid, like no joke, when I was a kid, I used to, to like live, well not live, I used to grow up on that field there, just like drinking on the streets, having fun with my friends and all that sort of stuff. And it turns out that eight, uh, not like a couple of months ago, some kids were on there and some kids from a local town or neighborhood or whatever, came over, got into an argument and someone got stabbed. Mate, someone got stabbed. Mate, the most effective thing that would ever happen when I was a kid was someone would maybe punch the other person because, you know, they looked at them funny. Not they stabbed them because they were from another bloody neighborhood. But hey, this is life in Jirak. Anyway, enough of the negative vibes. Positive vibes. Oh, after you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's get some milk. Bread, milk, and water acquired. And uh, an update in Chirac. 
just got spoken spoken just got spoken to um like the, a local builder who actually knows the family and uh, turns out this is gyrac because uh, they didn't just try to steal the guns uh, they apparently couldn't get into the gun cabinet so they took the entire gun cabinet so that's you know somewhat slightly terrifying first thing i'm doing when i get home is ordering some bloody bulletproof pajamas it's currently half past nine in the morning and it looks like no one's turned up to syndicate regional work just yet <sighs> typical pretty lonely fridge if you don't mind me saying so <laughs> sorted okay listen i had a brainwave this morning I, w I was in bed last night i was like i played minecraft last night and i enjoyed it but i had no purpose and when I build things in Minecraft, I don't know what I'm basing it off. You know, I, I, I'm just like, I'm just freestyling. And, it, and it's very uneventfully uninspiring. So you know what? Do you know what I did? I decided this morning that I'm going to live stream a Minecraft project. Something that I'm very well known. Uh, that's not me too, my own. Just I'm very well known for a Minecraft series called The Minecraft Project. The Minecraft Project. And that's like a daily series. Now, I don't want to be going doing daily series like that because I always fall behind. So, I'm creating a stream and a video today called A Minecraft Project. I'm so proud of myself. So, A Minecraft Project, but I'm building my childhood home. So, what I intend on doing is playing Minecraft normally, getting all the materials I need to, all right, to create... My actual childhood home that I grew up in. Now, my dad's house, when I first grew up in that, like my mum and dad's house, was quite big. So I'm going to try and build it in Minecraft. And if I do do it, I'm not going to spoil it here on the vlog. I'll send you, uh, I'll give you a link for the end design of it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be starting with a Minecraft project today. Ooh, productive as hell. I've got the vlog uploading already. It's one o'clock because I've just finished a like, how long? Uh, like close to two hour, uh, no, close to three hour live stream of me building my house. It's actually gone really successfully. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to show you yet because I don't want to spoil it. I want to get it to be a complete video and then be like, hey, if you guys want to go check out like the whole build behind it, then it's going to be amazing. Uh, Orion will be editing this vlog now, absolutely hating me because rather than doing it in a mode where, you know, like you can just go, I need a hundred of this. And you can just ping it in like in creative mode, like cheating, basically. I'm doing it in the normal way where I have to go and get the materials myself to build the house. Probably not the best idea for doing this series because it's just taking absolutely forever. So what would have been like a one hour live stream and be building the house has currently taken up to three hours. Three hours at the moment. Um, and I've only just done like two out of the three bedrooms of the house I've not even done the kitchen the bathrooms or anything like that so uh orion i know you're watching this right now hating me i'm sorry all right whilst we're waiting for carl because we're going having lunch with him i believe this bag contains a usb drive and if it if it do oh, it does and if i'm right in saying so this usb drive should contain all the footage from when I went out to LA and did the Call <clears throat> Sorry about that. Of when I did the Call of Duty Modern Warfare stream. So it should have all my game well, not my stream. It should basically have all the gameplay of me just being a beast. So uh let's see if I've got it, because I might be posting it on my main channel today. Well, I wasn't actually expecting anything. And someone's just dropped off this delivery package. And I've just read the side of the tag. And I know exactly what it is. I, I, I'll give you full context. So you know Brad, who I went to uh, Canada with, if uh, Ryan, you can pull up a clip of me, you know, like whizzing around in a helicopter with Brad and his dog, and you know, here he is. That is what we're gonna land on. I think so. Oh. <laughs> okay then. Well, that was Brad, and Brad's an absolute legend. Now Brad is an absolute wizard with things that he works on in the world, apparently, because um, he went on like, you know, like Dragon's Den, but like the American Dragon's Den. What the hell does this even say? I don't know, Ryan, if we need to blur this, let's blur it. I'll move the box. So he went on that to, uh, to pitch his product, which is an energy drink, uh, it, well, or, or a vitamin drink that's supposed to help cure hangovers. And, it, and he called it Last Call. Now the Dragon's and Dragon's Den absolutely loved it. And like, told, what was it? Let me just keep that blurred and wanted to buy it off him. But he was so smart with his business plan, it was like, he was selling them the drink 
um, because the product itself was so good, but he was smart enough to sell them only the drink, but not the bottle that dispensed it, because it's got a certain way of dispensing it. Whoa. So this is last call. Now you might be like, what do you mean it dispenses it? Now see, it's like the liquid inside, but then there's a liquid in the lid. He was selling them the liquid in the lid or something, not the actual bottle. So he owned the, the you know, the ability to manufacture, create the, either the patent or whatever for the bottle system, but they were only buying into the liquid. Uh, you know, this could be the wrong way around or something like that. So it was like super, super smart. If I can find the Dragon's Den link or Shark Tank, I think they call it in America or whatever they call it in Canada, I'll put it in the description, but I don't think I'll be able to find it. So basically it is a drink that's supposed to help with the, uh, with hangovers. Now I haven't actually tried this before, but I, I, I'm not going to try it yet. I'll actually try it when I have a hangover instead. But um, he always knows I go drinking and partying, so he sent me a case of these. But it just shows how much of a smart dude he is, because most people would just be like, here's my drink, here's my bottle. Yeah, I'll sell it to an investor, there you go. But instead he was like, yeah, I'm going to smartly just let you buy the drink, and then you have to still pay me for the bottle. And then they would have been like, whoa. It's like hustling an investor almost, but it's not. It's just being a really smart businessman. So he sent me a crate of these. Thank you very much. I don't know what it tastes like. I, I should try it now, but I don't know what kind of effect it has, you know, like if it's supposed to help you recover from a hangover. I'm not sure I want to drink it now as I'm just about to go out for some dinner. So uh, I'm going to, I'll, I'll put a lid on that for a second. And uh, when we get a minute, we'll uh, give a, a, a nice little taste test of some uh, some last call. Oh, yeah. Of course, Brad would say, well, he sent me the merch. Everyone always does that, don't they? They, 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 send, they send the merch. What's this? I'm going to guarantee this is a battery pack. Is it, is it a battery pack? <laughs> It's a battery pack, and you know what? I can't knock it because I always need as many battery packs as possible. So you know what? I'll take it. Thanks, Brad. You're a legend. Hopefully, I will be flying out to Canada and coming seeing you soon. Just saying. All right, cool. Time for some food. I'm going to be meeting up with Cal for some lunch, but I'm going to pop down to Syndicate Regional first because I do believe we've had a bit of an office upgrade. Not like a whole new office or anything, but just a teeny tiny little office upgrade. So it's been taking a while, but they finally got it together and they're, they're doing it. Unless they need help from me to do it. So I'm going to go down there, check that out, meet with Cal, get some lunch and then get back streaming again. Boom. Getting done. Mate, I thought people were worried about bumblebees like going extinct. I've never seen so many bumblebees on one bush in my life. Look how many there is. That's crazy. Whoa. That's crazy. Thanks for ruining my surprise. Wow, look at that new desk that's totally not installed. Oh, is it? Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Great. Well, uh, who's is that on, Mum? Should we give him a free t-shirt? No. You can be used to <laughs> so, I'm not getting drunk this afternoon. This is filled... Oh, God. It's filled with tar... What is it? Tar and glue remover. Oh, I bloody broke it now. Great. But this is the stuff that's going to allow me to get my old license plate glue off my uh, Defender and put my new one on. Then we'll be rolling. We'll be rolling in style with two custom plates on the vehicles, which will be beautiful. Um, let's lock that down. And then a knife, not to go attacking people with in Gyrac, but it's to scrape the glue off the, uh, off the front of the car without scratching it. So thank you, Mum. What's going on in there? Why are we having a... Watch out if you've got epilepsy. Warning. What the hell is going on in there? It keeps doing it. Wait, it keeps doing it? Is the... Stand in there and make sure The demigorgons are coming. Are we sure that... Oh my God, that is awful. Are we, Orion, we actually do need a legit strobe warning. And then, like, we need to timestamp that as well. Sorry about that. Because he held my eyes. Village bakery visited. <laughs> two monster energy drinks and two sandwiches for me and Cal. In the way? What's this? Just before the restaurant. Is there anyone in there? In the restaurant, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to scare Stephen. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 <A> little jump. <laughs> I had to, come on. Hey mate, do you want to swig on this? What is that? Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, basically straight 100% alcohol and a Stanley blade. How's that? Terps? It is Terps, I think. Oh. Well, it's not 
Stinks! It's paint remover or yeah. thingy remover, yeah. It's exactly what it is. It's time to get that plate off and get that plate put on. Nice. Right, plate's off. Kind of looks a bit, it definitely looks meaner, but it looks, it looks a bit weird without a plate. But I am now no longer NX63. I'm now part of the squadron. X triple one TGC with some bird poop and X triple two TGC with no bird poop. There you go, finally yeah. got it. You're not sighting the turps, are you? No, I'm not. I want to go there. And then. Oh, God. This one. So that's gonna go there. It goes there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I'm pretty happy with that. Is that central? Yeah, it looks pretty central. Look at the grills on top as well. That's kind of what you want to gauge it off. Put that one there. I was gonna say where's the other one then? <laughs> <laughs> Middle, yeah. Hey, coming off now. He says and hopes. Damn, oh, don't knock that box of turps, that bottle of turps off, that is rocking. I know. Wait. Uh, one second, team. Can I borrow that? Can I borrow the camera? It's your phone. <laughs> <laughs> My car's leaking! Where's that coming from? Oh. I'm hoping that's just water, rain, just chilling on or something that when I've pushed it, it's wobbled out, but that's yeah. never a good sign. Are you ready for the peel pawn reveal? Oh, 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 fresh! Man's got the custom plate. I definitely should have got X triple four, because you know it's a four by four. Uh, the next car is X triple three. X triple yeah, three. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Beautiful. And for the reveal, give me the corner. <laughs> Oof! Beautiful. Look at that. Squad. 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 Piss off, ghost. It's like a circle, but a freaky kind of circle. Hmm. I'm noticing Steve's lights still not come on. So, one can only assume that his main UV bulb's gone, which is not good. How are you doing in here? What What have you done? Is it, is, is it just loose? Oh! I think it may have just been loose. Let's have a look. Uh, no, no, S Steve, I'm definitely going to assume it's not just done falling out. Um, it's indeed gone. Oof. Dangerous. Oh, that is annoying. It's like burst inside this. Like it looks like it's swollen and burst. And I cannot get that piece of glass out of the other end to save my life. I'm gonna have to disconnect the power and go and get the pliers. Don't worry, Steve, I'll be back in a minute. Land Rover Defender, car, motorbikes, pedal bikes, chainsaws, not flamethrowers, none of it. Makes me feel more manly than going to my toolbox and getting my tools out. Seriously, manly man. Well, in all the years of owning a bearded dragon vivarium, that has never, ever happened before. The only way I can assume this has somewhat happened, like, cause that is weird, that. Like the only, and like, that, I can't, I can't salvage this. This thing's broken now. I'm gonna have to get a whole new light, UV light set up. But the only reason I can think that may have happened is if somehow Steve splashed water, like look at him, he's killed him overnight. Again, he's a is Somehow water's been splashed up there, which is highly unlikely. But water splashed up there, got into it and uh, just like completely ruined it, like rusted away and stuff. But I don't know, I don't know. Time to speak to Swell and get that thing replaced. You can come out for a bit, mate. I I've got so carried away building my house in Minecraft, spoiler, uh, that look how the sun is right now, just absolutely gorgeous in England. It, it, I I've kind of like, I've not wasted my day because I've actually done a lot today and, you know, got out and about, which has been amazing. But I guess this is what you get for having a really productive day. And if you're wondering what that noise is, it's that huge ass fan I've ordered. I don't actually need it because I have AC, but rather than having freezing cold air blown at me, it's quite nice to like circulate the air in my house into my office, which is just like nice and cooling. So perfect little setup. And everyone over here is going, I was here vlog! <laughs> you bunch of plebs. I'm not kidding you when I say for 30 quid, that might be one of the best purchases. No joke, 30 pounds. Everyone buys them like crappy little fans or those fancy Dyson fans. That's like super cool and air. And yeah, they are quiet. Yeah, I can respect that. But no joke, that thing is a beast. Absolute beast, just for blasting air. At, well, don't get me wrong. I, 
I've not been walking around my house or anything. I've been sat there and it's been blasting cold air through up my leg just to keep me cool. And it's been amazing. Highly recommend. I'm a big fan. <laughs> All right, in you go, you little fat bugger. I've had him outside in the sun chilling because his bulb has gone and I'm going to have to operate on his vivarium tomorrow. So, Stephen, you have a nice, warm, nice sleep, OK? This will be flicking off in a minute and I'll catch you later. As for myself right now, because I've got my plates on my Defender, I can finally drive it if it works, which, as we all know, the Defender never works, so ha ha! But I am now popping round to Chris and Hannah's to go and collect my stuff. I've got like all my hair gel and stuff like that. I think I said it before. I've got loads of stuff over there, which I need to go get. So I'm gonna go pop over and grab that and then go pick up some food and uh, enjoy the rest of my night and make a Call of Duty video, which I've not done since I was like, sit down and do a gameplay Call of Duty video. Since I was like, I don't know, like maybe 21. <laughs> So I think it's been enough time, especially since I've gone and played the new Call of Duty out at, uh, out at these studios out in America. I think it's about time that I did an old school sit down talk, like where I've been up to, where I've been at in life and stuff like that. And uh, all that shenanigans and uh, get a video out on the main channel, which I haven't done in a long time. So uh, let's get building the hype and uh, let's get her going. She looks good. I love the new plate so much. <laughs> Oh, wicked. I really wanted to go around there because I've only been wearing one pair of shoes for the last, like, months, two months, and that's my Yeezys, and I bloody left him in his house. I was like, you cheeky I can't believe he's, 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 he's left them there, and I can't get in, so luckily uh, his auntie is just, uh, it's not his auntie, his mum, oh no, but his, oh no, what is it? His mother-in-law. Yeah, his, is that right? His mother-in-law just uh, helped me get him back, and have I just left the bloody keys? Have I just left the keys in their house? Am I a pleb? Damn it. Nope, oh, found them. I'll put them inside my Yeezy. And what am I having for dinner tonight? Lamb chops from Ganges. Oof. Actually gonna cook myself some food. <laughs> like, you know, it's the single life of, oh, what do I eat now? You have to cook yourself meals every night and stuff like that. I usually, like when, you, like, when you've got a girlfriend, it's so easy just to go out and go out and get food, which is like much more the norm for me. Cause like in LA, I always used to go out and get food rather than cooking, but I don't mind, I actually don't mind cooking. I just need more recipes. A la serve tonight is, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have got chicken, ah! <laughs> God, that was a real reaction. Greasy chicken rogan Josh, but I don't know why I even got that because I just wanted this. If you don't know what it is, oh, I already told you. I'm really tired, okay? Just give me a laugh. I'm actually really tired. <gasps> Lammoth choppers. Usually, I'm not being rude, they're not that amazing from Ganges. They're just not, okay? Certain styles of it that I like, but I just wanted some lamb and I just wanted some chicken rogan josh. And the only reason I buy this, oh my god, look at the oil. Jeez. Mate, what? 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 No. Oh. Well, this, is a, this has turned out to be a disaster. It's because I literally only get this just for the pure purpose of dipping in Peshwari Nam. Oh, look at that. B-A-A, beautiful! Whatever I just said about those lamb chops, I 100% apologise and take it back. They are absolutely delicious. Oh, oh! Oh, I forgot about that. Slide these amazing pop figures over here from Ninja Bobby, who's a beast. Um, to these, which I need to, uh, I need to get rock and roll. I should have, I should have cooked just eight tonight. And like, pure just fact of celebration that I've got so many new things to kind of like cook and serve with. Like look, that you, you cook a steak kind of like rare medium and then you cook it even more thoroughly-ish kind of on this hot stone. It's a steak stone. Ooh. Again, shout out to Alison Carr for that present. That was lovely. But uh, we're going to sit down. You're currently, by the way, one sec, if I just move it, resting on a bottle of Drambuie. So, again, to the legend at the so Scotland uh, Resonate meetup that uh, brought me that. Uh, I hate you entirely. That's the worst gift anyone's ever given me in their life. I appreciate it, but it's the worst gift ever because it's a bottle of Drambuie. You may as well just give me a, a like, like, I, I don't even know, like a sickness tablet. Just like, this will make, immediately make you feel... And that's exactly what you just did to me, but right, I'm gonna get this on and uh, I think I'm gonna get something on the uh, 
Good old Apple TV, but I don't know what, because the screen's kind of just in the way. Got myself some good food, and I'm watching Hot Ones. Perfect. Uh, well, I was going to try and do a video on my main channel tonight, but uh, yeah, this, this is the typical life of a YouTuber. Editing vlogging footage is not that bad, and it does crash sometimes, but uh, trust me, out the nine years of doing YouTube, trying to make gaming videos, this screen should not be this colour. I should be able to access and edit what I'm doing, but... Every five seconds, it just keeps crashing, so... Uh, I'm looking at the time now, 11.05. I wanted to get a, uh, a video up on the main channel today, but for some reason, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be happening. Pretty sure I didn't send her eye an outro for today's vlog, guys. So, with this one pun I've been holding on to, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day i know it's terrible i had to i just couldn't resist it but honestly guys i hope you have an awesome day i i hope you enjoyed today's vlog i know it was kind of like a little bit of an emotional roller coaster because it's it, it's like you know I, I said it last time it's like the end of a chapter and starting something new uh i try and surround myself like with positive vibes and positive people and all that sort of stuff. And I feel like on this channel, that's exactly who I have watching this is like people who share, share that same energy as me. I know there's always the one person who's gonna wanna tell me to be like, you should do this or you should do that. But it's, you know, at the end of the day, guys, it's my life. These are my decisions I need to make and I share them with you guys. So thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like button, click the subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. for the next day of vlog where in between all that, I'm most likely gonna be live streaming at twitch.tv forward slash syndicate so if you want to tune in i'll put a link in the description to my live stream where i'm going to indeed be carrying on building my house in minecraft so thanks for watching guys i do appreciate it it's been good vibes and good energy um like i said not looking back on anything negative a pass across the like the past two years of an amazing relationship uh but it's time to move on and it's time to just start the next uh chapter of my life so let's get rocking let's get rolling Adios.